Have you got your hands on River City Girls 2 from Way Forward for $39.99? If you haven't, I'm going to tell you why right after you watch these opening credits. Way Forward is just uh, one of my favorite publishers and develops of retro games. Uh, like Modern Air, uh, I, I love all their games. Shantae, uh, their first River City Girls. Just every game they release, I just fall in love with instantly. And I did with this one as well. Look at these opening uh, credits, like this story. It's delivered in a comic book form, but there's also a story about talking to the characters too, and they have really awesome voice acting and I'll show you a little bit of that as well the uh, the combat's just amazing you can unlock so many different moves and there's weapons just everywhere and you can play this alone or with a friend I didn't get to play with a friend but you know, I can imagine that this game would be a ton of fun to play with someone else as well uh, it, it really reminds me of the original game but also the original NES game they uh, do a lot of tributes to that as well uh, this is just an addictive game that you know I just couldn't stop playing let me give you a little taste of how, the quality of the voice acting and development in this game take a listen to this Miss Megumi, what were you children doing out of class did you not hear the bell no but that's probably because we got here after it rained we're like super late today not helping hmm. hurry to your desk and watch your so you can't ask for much better than that. Uh, here's the little hangout. This is where you'll, uh, you know, whenever you start the game, this is where you'll be. This is like a little home base. There's also a living room with characters that you get. Like if you uh, get a character to join your team, they'll all pile up in the living room. I don't know if there's an achievement for it, but I figure there is because there's so many different characters in the game that, uh, you know, you're going to have a full living room by the time you're done. There's also a little dojos where you can go learn all kinds of new moves that's going to cost you money you know you're going to have to earn a lot of money to learn all of these and to buy all the th things that you find in the stores but it's well worth it and uh, it doesn't take that much to earn money there's little exploits throughout the game areas that just give you more money than others and that's really cool when you learn a new move and some of them can be uh you know help you a lot uh, there's also stores you can buy items you can equip two Two, like a collar or you know earrings and these will give you like little special right. perks like you, uh, you do more damage to We're people not. on the ground your weapon does more damage uh, you'll get some that like you hit your weapon will uh, have special abilities like you'll uh, electrocute people there's all kinds of hidden items throughout the game like right there you saw me find a cat there's a girl that wants so many cats you have to find them there's uh, other people that want you to take pictures of certain areas so besides just the bosses and the combat, there's tons of things to do after you beat the game. Go back and you know, find things that, that you didn't find on your first playthrough. There's also four different characters. So, you know, you're going to want to play with the other characters as well and level them up. Because you, as you play with them, they get stronger. Like when you buy items from the stores, you know, like they'll add one to your agility, one to your weapon attack, one to your punch things like that so you know you're going to want to get all your characters upgraded especially if you're going to play with someone you know and they might have a character they like so you're going to want to have all your characters upgraded it's going to be fun just to play through over and over because it is an addictive game it is fun like the original river city ransom i could play it over and over and and uh, i feel the same with this one it's just such a good time from start to finish here's the uh, end scene and whenever you die like that it takes you back to that hangout uh, here's the bosses. The bosses are really challenging. Maybe him not so much because he's the first one, but he isn't super easy still. Uh, you do get stronger, but you never get stronger where the game's easy in my opinion. Like the original River City Ransom, I remember you could get there where you were punching guys with one punch and killing them. 
it doesn't really feel like this. This one stays competitive all the way through. Uh, the bosses are really cool because you have to learn, you know, the, all their attack styles to be able to beat them. You just can't go in there and, you know, start throwing punches and kicks and uh, beating them easy. You're going to have to, you know, learn their move sets. I thought this was funny because Technos that made River City Ransom back in the day, you know, they also made Dodgeball. And there's little side quests like this where you're playing Dodgeball. There's more than this. I don't want to spoil them all. But there's another one where you're like uh, stopping bank robbers. You, know, you got to keep them from getting out the vault door. And uh, that's really fun as well. But there's a bunch of those. So, you know, there's all kinds of stuff in this game to do that you, besides just the uh, beat em up parts of it, you have a phone that has like your map, it has like a social media. It uh, was used to also like equip your, you know, your items that you purchase. Uh, and like the social media, it's funny because there's like characters in the game, you know, and they'll post things on there and you can read them. It's just a really comical game and just a ton of fun and super addictive. It is hard getting, but it's not, uh, you know, challenging to where it's not fun. Uh, the little stories you'll see out throughout the game, you know, you can buy the food items, which are also health. It'll, it'll fix, it'll improve your health, but then it'll also, like I said with the other ones, It'll add like an attack to your weapon or to your agility so it raises your stats as well. There's all kinds of little hidden areas like this that you wouldn't expect to be there that you'll find. So you're going to explore the map a lot and uh, probably about every time you play it you're going to find something new unless you use like a walkthrough and find everything you know that way. But if you're just playing it straight up it's gonna, you're going to be playing this a while before you find everything. The combat's are really really smooth. You know it's, it's fun fighting. So, it's not easy sometimes uh, you know you will lose battles you'll get to points where you know you're about to die and you gotta hurry up and get some health food because when you die you will lose money unless you respawn all the way back to the hangout hideout right there where you saw him where he held his hands that's how you get characters to join your team and when they do they'll be at your house and when you hit the triggers they'll also come help you like if you get in trouble in combat but there's a charge on that you have to wait for that to charge up before you can use it again it doesn't really take a lot of time though. There's tons of uh, funny and interesting characters. Like this girl who's wanting you to help find her cats. You know, and they're hidden throughout the levels. So uh, in my opinion, this is one you have to grab if you're looking for co-op games. If you're a super beat em ups fan. This game right here is uh, one of the best games of 2022. Uh, I would say it's probably my top five game I've played last year and uh, it's de worth, definitely worth your time definitely worth your money definitely grab this one uh, this is the, probably one of my favorite games that I reviewed from last year and one that I highly recommend so I'm giving it a 9.7 out of uh, 10 I think I gave the first one a 10 I like this one almost just as good so definitely get your hands on this one definitely let me know in the comments if you loved it as much as I did thanks for watching guys thanks for support you know and until next time as always See you in those leaderboards.